create a customer master in SAP S4 HANA. Uh, we can use transaction code that is called BP for business partner. Open T code BP. This option is available for searching customer list. For example, you can select find business partner, person, organization, or group. We are interested to search organization, so we can select organization. And by, this is the by method. We want to search by number. We want to search by search term or external number or name, location. There are many multiple methods based on that you can search required customer list so i am searching based on my search term so i have selected search term i have i am putting scpl as a search term one and custom so you can able to find that particular customer master here you can double click on this and based on double click if this customer master will be uh, opening this method so this is the method to search any customer master. Now you come to next part, just open DP and use this option to create organization in SAP. If you want, if you want to create person, then you can click here. If you want to create organization, then this option is available. And if you want to create any organization group or any company group, then you can select this option. Okay. So currently I am I'm going to create organization, so just I'm clicking on organization. Now, there is option to select create in BP role, means which role you are interested to create. So we are creating customer. So this is the standard BP role FLCU01. So I'm selecting this, which will consider as a customer creation. This pop-up will come, then you just select it. This is the accounts group. So what accounts group you are selecting to create this customer. So I'm selecting a standard one that is triple zero one internal number assignment. In this accounts group, customer number will be auto generated. If you are you are selecting this triple zero two external number assignment, then customer master business partner number will be not created automatically. You have to enter just externally. So I'm creating this one. Now, this is the title of the customer. So I'm selecting the company. You can put name of the company. So company name is test company private private limited. Okay, you can also put name two, name three, name four. If name is long, this is your search term. So I'm putting T C P L dash zero. So this is my search term. Based on this search term, we can search my customer easily as I shown in something later. Okay. Okay. So this is my street house number. This is my postal code. This is my city. This is my country. This is my reason. So I'm putting reason as a Delhi. And this is my language. So I'm putting English as a language. So this is my general information. You can also put identification like 
external VP number. This is legacy system number. For example, legacy system number is this one. So you can also select. You can also use customer classification that is useful. That is uh, uh, that is uh, for reporting purpose. Purpose if you want to classify customer. This is uh, customizable things. So you can create your own customer classification. So I'm putting the customer. Okay. So these are the information that can be captured in uh, general information now come to sales and distribution to uh, to manage the data related to sales and distribution so if uh, this option is available for example this customer what that is creating will be permissible to which sales area so for example my sales area is uh, s001 so we can select I am permissed uh, giving permission to this customer that can be only used if sales organization is S001 and distribution channel is SD and uh, division is FT. Now to enter after putting enter this all option option will be available to maintain. For example, I'm putting sales district as a southern southern north. Northern, sorry, it's because I'm creating customer for the list. So I'm putting northern. This is my customer group. So I can use customer group. What available with sales office? So I'm selecting sales office. What is sales group? That is, if we are creating any sales order for this customer by default, which sales office or sales group will be considered? So you can maintain as master level as well. So what is my currency? So my currency will be IMR. What is my price group? So I'm selecting price group as a zero one bulk wire. And what is my customer pricing procedure? One customer pricing procedure is a field which is responsible to load a pricing procedure at a sales transaction. The sales uh, pricing procedure is loading based on this sales area, customer pricing procedure and document pricing procedure. So based on this combination, uh, when you are selecting customer in sales order, sales inquiry or uh, quotation, then that uh, particular uh, pricing procedure will be load at the transaction. Okay, so this is very useful thing. Now come to the shipping tab. So you can maintain what is the delivery priority of this customer. So I'm putting high and order combination is permissible or not. If you are unchecking this option, then uh, you cannot get, get able to create single delivery for multiple order. So order combination, if you are check, it's, uh, checking this means you are giving permission of this customer if this customer used in three sales order and we are uh, yet we are planning to combine all three sales order into one delivery then that is possible through this option so what is delivery plan so this delivery plant is uh, uh, help to determine automatic plant at the sales transaction so say a delivery uh, delivering plant is automatic uh, coming at sales order based on uh, plant determination and plant determination is based on customer also so this field is available for that so i am selecting delivery plant as well what is shipping condition shipping condition is uh, beneficial to load shipping point at sales transaction okay so if we are selecting uh, any shipping condition and based on shipping condition plant and uh, loading group so shipping point is determining a sales order so this field is also important so you can select as per your requirement complete deliveries allow or not you can check based on your requirement what is the maximum uh, partial deliveries allow what is a partial delivery item unlimited tolerance is applicable or not if not then what will be under delivery tolerance and what is the over delivery tolerance for example you are creating any sales order of 10 uh, 10 pieces okay so if you are putting uh, uh, five percent five percent of under delivery tolerance then your delivery will be uh, considered as a complete if you are receiving five percent less as well or our delivery tolerance is uh, over related to our five percent means you can also able to uh, do the delivery of extra five percent okay if you are not putting this then this uh, delivery tolerance will be not applicable now coming to the billing so this option is related to invoice list if you are putting this invoice date and invoice this 
uh, inverse lift schedule then you can able to combine multiple uh, multiple sales invoice into one single invoice list okay again this is input terms version this is in quote terms for example we are putting in uh, exw as in quote terms and in x works as factory location exw as a uh, factory works location exw uh, this is my payment terms so you can really select my payment terms as well and this is my account assignment group of customer this is beneficial for revenue account determination at billing uh, bill billing transaction okay so we can also uh, create based on customization this is a level 01 and 020 already made level in the sap and you can also create as per your requirement so i am currently selecting domestic revenue okay so now this is my tax classification so this tax is applicable or not so this is the multiple parameter for example tax exempted full tax of 50 percent so i am selecting one in all for example so based on this combination or condition record data tax or this condition will be loaded as the transaction of billing transaction okay so this is again a very important field if you are not uh, selecting then according to condition record data that will not load at uh, transaction level okay now come to the partner function so this is partner function automatic based on the partner determination all four mandatory partner will be loaded so sp is a sold to party bp is a bill to party means if you are creating any six transaction and billing transaction so who will be responsible to sold to party who will be responsible to billing to, uh, billing process who will be responsible to paying the uh, outstanding amount and where material will be true so uh, the, the, here this is uh, showing as an internal means this uh, number whatever customer is creating that will automatically creating as a one sold to party one bill to party one pair and ship to party you can also able to maintain multiple um, sold to and bill to party lb for example i have created one customer that is 136 number okay and i want to ship to party two ship to party one is its own and second one is 136 so we can also use ship to as a this one ship to and we can put number like this 136 so automatic sync electrical will be considered as a second ship to party so when we are creating any sales transaction then system will also allow you to select as a second ship to party uh, for this customer as well okay so this is additional data okay so now currently i am removing this after creating this we will map this again so i am removing this now come to the additional data so you can also select multiple customer group here this is a status for example if you want to block sales transaction delivery transaction billing transaction based on the all sales area or selective sales area for example you are selecting this one so overall block so for this customer sales order transaction will be blocked for all sales area if you are want to only select uh, block for the particular selected so you can select this one by selecting this system will only block uh, sales transaction for this particular sales area okay same will be applicable for delivery block and the billing block as well so this is the customer text if you want to maintain any uh, customer uh, related text that is not readily available in the uh, field level so you can create your own text and maintain the data here okay so these are the fields that are related to sales and transaction now we can use save for saving the data okay by saving customer number will be automatic generation so this is the bp number has been generated and customer number will be generated as a you can able to see here 141 and you can also able to see here sales and distribution and partner function c so for example as we are to, uh, uh, <clears throat> saying uh, previously you can maintain multiple ship to party so now you can select sh and 136 here okay 136 okay so by default user can select 
so uh, this is configuration system uh, configuration is uh, done that SIG2 cannot be repeated so that's why this error is showing if you are allowing to maintain multiple SIG2 for one customer then system will not throw error okay so currently uh, I am not changing any configuration so I am just removing this okay but you can maintain multiple as well now if you, uh, this is this is the customer view which you have extended now I am extending my finance view where we are able to maintain um, maintain company code with this customer so I am selecting FLCU 00 yes this all is already maintained so just go to the company code and select here company code so I am selecting company code as a this one and hit enter so if you are selecting this company code then this customer will be extended in this code okay now you can able to say now this is the when we, we we want to see the list of customer then there is one customer that is called VECUST we cost based on the multiple selection parameter like uh, uh, what is your customer number what is your account group for example my accounts group is triple zero one so I'm selecting this one this is my sales area if we are not putting sales area that is also okay for example I'm already putting sales organization and running this report so list of all report will be come here so now I am putting I am removing this on as well okay so now two customer is two customer is showing in this report and you can also able to see from here as well go to the display customer you can able to display and you can also able to change here just change any data for example i am putting some data here in general data information and i'm putting uh, you, we are we want to uh, put some extra address also so i'm expanding this so uh, extra will be showing here what is the district for example ds009 what is different city so i'm putting dc009 uh, and uh, what is the transportation zone what is the uh, street address okay so now put in say so change will be applicable okay so this is the method to create customer master in s4 hana uh, for any question any query you can uh, comment in my video okay thank you